So if you're shooting photos with a digital camera, chances are you're gonna need a memory card. There's a lot of different kinds of memory cards out there, but the two most popular formats uh, are something called CF, which stands for Compact Flash. It looks something like this. Most DSLRs and professional level gear use CF cards. However, there's a whole lot of cameras that also use something called an SD card, which looks something like this. Um, most prosumer to high-end DSLRs will even use these, whereas the very, very pro-level stuff uh, will use compact flash. Now, it's important to make sure you have enough memory on your memory cards for all the photos you're gonna shoot, goes without saying. Uh, most photographers will carry, you know, maybe not this many memory cards around, but have a couple as backup. Memory cards have a tendency to sometimes uh, get what's called corrupted, which basically means the filing system and the naming system get out of whack with each other and you can't use the card. Really good reason to have a second one on you. Uh, I personally prefer to use 8 gig memory cards. They come in a variety of sizes, everything from a 1 gig all the way up to a 64 gig, 128 gig. If you're thinking of doing video with your, with your DSLR or your point and shoot, more memory is always better because video files, you have to remember, are inevitably going to be much larger than still files. So one of the advantages of CF cards is they're just they're thicker and more reliable uh, than SD cards, which are a little bit flimsy, kind of easy to lose, uh, which is another really great reason why professionals prefer CF. A good thing to keep in mind is if you're using CF cards, you're going to need a CF card reader. They generally go for about 10 bucks, they're not super expensive, whereas most computers these days have an SD card reader built in, so you're obviously not going to need to go out and purchase that. Memory cards have different speeds uh, correlating to how fast they can transfer data. This one in particular is 60 megabytes a second. If you're doing video uh, with your camera, you're going to want a faster transfer rate just because it's going to make your life a lot easier with all the data you're moving. However, if you're just shooting stills, it's really not going to make a whole lot of a difference. An important thing to remember, and I'm just going to toss this in as a, uh, a PSA, uh, avoid at all costs buying memory cards on eBay because eBay is rampant with sellers selling knockoff cards and it's a really good way to get a bad card and lose a lot of photos and be really upset. Don't do it. Thank you.